Inspiring Scholars is a program for current and former foster youth attending Butte College. To qualify for Inspiring Scholars, students had to have spent one day in foster care. The reason the program came to be is the Director of Financial Aid, Karen McClesio, her office did a lot of dependency overrides for foster youth. And she was hearing their stories and thinking, wow, it's amazing that they're even here in college. Like, oh my gosh, they've had so many barriers and they're still here and she wanted to do something to support them. We started out with just a little office. From there, we grew into having a student space. We got a program manager, Vance Edwards, who is amazing. Um, and we are now we're able to be a fully inclusive program and we help students, we just kind of meet them where they are. Some of the most common things we see when students come in here is food insecurity, that's number one. Uh, we see issues with medical care and medical needs that are unmet and they may not have medical or health insurance. We, we see uh, academic challenges and need for support there. Uh, housing insecurity is a huge issue for our students and we see a lot of couch surfing. They are coming to the table without a lot of the things that many of our students have already had or have had all through their lives. And so we're able to bridge those gaps for them and we're able to give them the things that they need so they're on an even playing field so they have every opportunity to succeed and get to their educational goals. Students come in and they know that somebody knows who they are on campus and cares about them and they have a place to hang out and chill in between classes. They have a community and a space to be and they know that they belong here. The kind of services that we provide for our students are priority registration, we help them with financial aid, um, getting all their um, documents submitted, we help them with textbook support. A lot of times our students don't have parents or any adult figures that are there to help them and so we kind of pave the way for them to go from high school into our program here. The point of Inspiring Scholars is similar to the mission of the college which is to put students first. That's what we as staff do or we attempt to do every day when we come to work and take a little time to make the student know that they're the most important thing uh, foster youth um, have had some unique experiences and I am so grateful that this college has opened the doors to them. I'm Alora Fox and I'm an inspiring scholar. I went to foster care when I was six. Uh, my mom got arrested and me and my brother got taken away home I was placed in, I was the only black kid, and so then I went to a school where there weren't a lot of other black kids, and so I stuck out very obviously. And so people were like, why aren't you with your real parents? And I would tell them, and then they'd be like, oh. And they would just kind of treat me differently. Like, I made the mistake, even though I didn't. So I stopped talking about it because I hated to have to awkwardly be like, yeah, no, my parents did this thing, and now I'm suffering for it. When I came to college, I wasn't really expecting much because I had bad history with school. I wasn't thinking that I was gonna commit. I didn't have a lot of faith in myself. The Inspiring Scholars Program, they have helped me with so much. A couple semesters ago, I was gonna be homeless and I was gonna have to drop out. It was a very stressful time. I cried a lot. <laughs> So they heard that I needed a house and they're like, we know about this really awesome program. We're gonna get you in contact with the coordinator. And Vance actually took me down. Like we left work, he took me down there. And like two weeks after that, I had a house. I like this program because a lot of foster youth program, it's like age requirements. You have to be in foster care at a certain age and not everybody meets those requirements. And so they don't get help. But this program is if you've been in foster care for one day, then you're in the program. And we have our own academic counselor, we have free printing, we have snacks, we have gift cards. We get to meet with people who actually were in foster care and talk about our experiences. And we get help with classes from people who know what we're going through. When you walk in, you're like, these are my friends, this is my family, they love me, I can relax here, I'm safe, I'll get the help I need or whatever I need. Every time I come in here, I'm greeted with so many happy faces that tell me I'm doing so well, that they're so proud of me, that it makes me feel like I'm doing good. I have more faith in who I am as a person because of being in this program.
My name is Destiny Simpson and I'm an inspiring scholar. I was put in foster care when I was 10 or 11. I'm not sure for exactly how long. I don't, I know it wasn't a very long time, but honestly I blocked it out, so I don't know. You say, oh, I'm in foster care or I was in foster care and people kind of give you that look that, you know, oh, your parents screwed up, look. And it's not, even, even just that kind of look and that silence, it's a lot to deal with. It brings on a lot of shame. When I went back to my mom, it was purely a hush-hush thing. She never wanted me to talk about it. She told me to not talk about it to anyone or mention it to anyone. Before I actually joined Inspiring Scholars, it was just generally kind of the isolation. I had my friends, but they were dealing with their own stuff. And, you know, I didn't, it didn't really feel fair to me to unload everything onto them that I was feeling and dealing with at home. I started coming in just because I kind of got tired of just being alone all the time. It was very, very exhausting. We've got free printing, we've got free computers, we've got this study area, we've got this lounge to just hang out in whenever we just want to. We've got snacks. It's great to know that there's somewhere I can just come in and sit down and I know of everyone, everyone knows me. Vance and Susan and Elizabeth just pop out, ask me how I'm doing, you know, if I ever need to talk, they're right there. Having that kind of support from Vance and Susan and Elizabeth definitely helped me out and my grades have improved quite a bit. Just sitting in Susan's cubicle and talking to her about life would, those are gonna stay with me for a while because Susan's just the kind of person where it feels very easy to sit and just talk with her about anything. There's no judgment there. That, that to me was the biggest thing because kind of getting that baggage off me was the first step to really being able to rise. I'm Chilo Carmona and I am an inspiring scholar. I'm originally from Williams, California. It's a small rural town, about 5,000 people. And I wanted to further my education because I thought that was the only way out. One of the biggest hurdles is sort of uh, taking care of myself without much of a support group. Even though I didn't know there was a foster youth program um, until spring of last year, I wouldn't have joined. On my financial aid forms, I did not check the box that asked if I was a foster youth because I didn't feel comfortable sharing that information with other people. For about six months last year I was homeless and it was a very difficult time. I wasn't even associated with Inspiring Scholars at this point. I had no idea that this program even existed. Lucky enough, one of my friends was also a foster youth, so he was able to literally walk me over here and help me um, set up an appointment with Vance. I thought the staff would be detached, that they would be a little emotionless, um, because that's the experience I've had with these kinds of programs before. I was blown away with what the reality of the program was because of the services provided, of the atmosphere. They do genuinely care about student success and they want to see you succeed, they want you to be happy, and they want you to live the best life that you can. I really wish I had known about this program earlier because it would have been able to help me with my food difficulties, with my housing uh, problems earlier, and maybe I wouldn't have been you know, homeless at all. I'm happy that I found a college with a beautiful campus and people that I get along with because it makes me feel like I have a home.